We better stop it there. Uh, Harold, the, the mystery tramp here, is about to get caught up in a very shocking situation. The repercussions could change the world as we know it. So let's just leave that there, because what we're really interested in is this neat old warehouse factory building thing that I made using SketchUp, uh, 3D Exchange, and Photoshop. So uh, let's get to that. Okay, I'll be the first to admit I am no SketchUp expert, but uh, I do find it really useful and quick down and dirty objects, and so let's just uh, do a little project here that hopefully won't be too confusing and uh, we can figure out what's going on. Uh, let's just make a, make a basic cube, and uh, one little feature I started using the other day was uh, import a texture. So i uh, got some cool textures from cgtextures.com. I selected an old building warehouse, click use as texture, open it, and it allows you to kind of just paste it right on. I'm, I notice it's not exactly sized right, but uh, we can remedy that pretty easily. I'm just going to drag it till it clicks, stop that. Notice it cropped it. If you want to live with that, that's fine. You could drag this on up and notice right there is where the image repeats and so I'm just going to chop it off there and so I've been able to size my little cube correctly to the texture so that's kind of cool. Of course it's totally flat and let's think about maybe uh, adding a little more texture to it. So what you can do is drag out a rectangle kind of where the windows are and Let's just select some areas by dragging rectangles, like so. And uh, using this particular tool here, it allows us to uh, inset and push that texture in, that face inside. So there we go. Let's grab this one. And then if we just go over here, it's going to create the same depth that we just did. going to hit the H key. Help us move around a little bit. So once again, select this tool and sketch up and drag it over to the previous facet that we've uh, adjusted and notice it'll pop. So now we've got a little bit of indentation to our object so it's going to take on a little bit of a texture. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Door there. Uh, you could uh, possibly grab this little pipe here little downspout that's been broken off and select it and uh, pull it the other way and give it a little bit of dimension that way and as you see it's a little far so there we go. Now the uh, hit the H key again uh, we can uh, adjust some of this uh, area here on the front of the building and make it a little more interesting. Let's grab this area here and this area to here. It'll stop there and then we'll push that in a little bit and go in close and you can make a little more finer adjustments there. There we go. And then let's select this area here. Like so where the logo is and we'll push it in a little bit. And you can get just as detailed as you want to get as much time as you got to kill. Uh, the upper windows, uh, let's go right up to where this arch begins and select that and then let's create an arch and use this tool right here let's go in here a little closer drag it right there it's going to snap to the previous line and now we've created a little arch for that window and we'll push this window in and then we'll once again snap it down there and it's a little far so once again right there so we'll do that for each of the windows on down here and give them once again a little more depth. Uh, this uh, top portion of the building, grab that maybe, and uh, let that come out a little bit, like so. Hit the H key, oops, Put that in 
Z key here. Z key, okay. Using the mouse wheel to spin around and the mouse wheel to roll and zoom in. So you go around, adjust your windows. Uh, I like to throw up a few more textures uh, right here. Let's just grab a texture from uh, the selection of textures in SketchUp and just put a separate texture there. And uh, it might be good to have a texture on the roof. And uh, we can add textures in iClone to replace these. Oh, looks like you grab the same one. Let's do that. I like to have different textures so I can map it correctly. And uh, you just for a little bit of business, you might make an edge around the top of the roof. And we can uh, grab the texture here. And once again, we won't use these textures. It'll just help us mark off an area that we can replace easily with the texture. Okay, let's go down and look at this area that we were uh, calling the door. It looks like it's an old uh, uh, garage door type object. Let's uh, select that. And you notice it turns kind of a light blue. Let's right click on it. And then we're going to select the bounding edges. And as I said, I don't know if this is the correct way to do this, but it works for me. I'm going to say, then make group. And now I'm going to select the move tool, highlight that, and then slide that door off to the side to get it out of the way. And now, hopefully, it is a, uh, another component to our object that we'll be able to uh, save in 3D Exchange and uh, maybe move that garage door up. Uh, separately. Uh, create an animation with that. Since we've got some faces inside and I'm hoping to make those uh, inside windows visible, let's uh, select a texture and texture the floor and texture a wall and texture uh, another wall. Let's try to use separate textures that we haven't used in the model before. And you can go around and select all the other walls as well. Uh, and let's just select it for now. Ideally, try to have separate textures for everything. Uh, now, after you've finished uh, noodling your model and giving it as much uh, three-dimensional depth as you choose, then uh, be sure to save it. And we will save it as a uh, SketchUp 7 version. And I'll call this building 2 since I'm already playing with this object. Building two, and now we'll go over to uh, 3D Exchange Pro 4, and uh, close out of that, and let's load up Building Two. Here we are in this particular window, and notice if we turn things off, we do have a separate object there called the door, and be sure to save. Uh, that object separately and load it into iClone and then we will turn on the rest of the building and make sure we select everything and then we will save that object and so uh, let's go into iClone now. Okay here we are in iClone we brought our objects in you'll notice we have building 2 here and uh, there we go and we have the uh, door which we haven't named but I guess we can do that probably want to adjust that pivot point and uh, let's go up here and get that probably at the bottom and now our pivot point for the door and now we can move the door in anytime we want and work on that. Uh, we've got our uh, varying textures which will now at some point retexture those surfaces. The front surface, of course, I think is going to be fine. Let's improve the look and let's uh, allow our windows to be transparent. I think that'd be cool so we could see through into the warehouse, into the building here. So uh, let's do that. Let's launch. Let's make sure we have the building selected. And let's pick that texture, which is the front texture, up there. And we hit the launch button and open up your paint program. I happen to be using uh, the Photoshop, my paint program of choice. Uh, what I'm going to do is create another layer here, and I'm going to start uh, filling in these windows. And uh, let's just zoom in a little bit and uh, 
take a typical example. We won't do all of them, but uh, for now I'm just going to fill them in with black and basically just draw out a rectangle and uh, fill it with black and uh, I'll keep copying that. Uh, a lot of different ways you can do this, but uh, we'll just this is the effect we're going to be after. And I'm just duplicating this particular black rectangle. And that's what you'll do and fill in all the windows that you uh, want to be transparent. And you'll need to create some different size rectangles for the different size windows and different shapes. But uh, not too uh, bad. In most any paint program, I think you'll be able to, to do this with. So it'll take you a little while, but uh, at some point, I think you'll be able to do it. Okay, at some point, you should come up with an image that looks somewhat like this. And uh, I think uh, you can see we've just basically filled in with black and then added a white layer to create a uh, black and white image. Now I'm going to save this opacity map in a separate directory. I'm not going to overwrite the original diffusion map in iClone. We want to make sure this is going to be an opacity map, so we'll save it separately with a new name. Okay, now when I saved that image, I saved it in a separate directory for my opacity maps, and I called it Building Opacity Map, clever enough, and I load it into the opacity map. And now you can see we can now see through the windows, which uh, is okay, but we don't want them to be necessarily completely transparent. So let's uh, adjust the strength of that opacity map and give it just a little bit more uh, glass there. And uh, it'd be nice to have a reflection in that glass. Now, if we add our reflection map, the entire building has that applied to it. But if we use that same image as our specular map, what's going to happen if I invert that image is now you can see the windows are doing the reflecting and probably too much, so you might want to adjust the strength of that reflection map and the rest of the building is not getting that type of reflection like glass would. So uh, that gives us a little more realistic. Now, of course, we'll go back in, we'll retexture the inside. If you're real lazy like I am, you could uh, load in the same image to be used as a bump map and uh, not the best way to do a bump map, but uh, it'll give you a little more texturing there. I'm going to turn the color off on it. It even gives the glass kind of a neat old world look to it too, as you can see some of the wrinkles there in the glass and ripples. It's kind of a neat effect. So uh, you can play with that. Crank up the contrast maybe, take down the brightness, create more of a, uh, a look that you might like, but that's, it's getting there. So uh, we'll tweak on this some more. So there you go. Uh, the little warehouse is kind of finished. I've added some more textures to it. Uh, got the transparency and the reflection set in the windows. I added a few more fiddly bits on there. So it's a fun little prop you can uh, maybe build for yourself and have fun. And uh, just you know, try to forget what you saw with Harold there. Uh, we don't want that to go any further.